Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I really need to get a lot more science so that we can unlock the ISRU converter, uh, which is around here and the drills as well. And this sort of mirrors what I'm doing in another series, uh, which in which case I also am trying to unlock the ISRU converter and the drills. Uh, but uh, yeah, I need to get up to there. That's 850 science. Now, the long-term thing to do would be to send something to Saturn and its moons, uh, but that'll take a while to get there. Uh, on the other hand, we can land something on the moon and get some more moon science, and that takes a shorter amount of time. We have established a base on the moon, and we also have a new human moon landing repeater contract. So this is for after you've done the milestone contract, you can do more moon landings, as NASA did, and they pay quite well. Uh, also, we have some extra human orbital here, really Kerbal orbital, I really should change that. That's from RP0 saying human orbital. They're not human, they're people. Kerbals are people, but they're not human. Uh, so we need to bring at least one person to the moon. Uh, I think I'll use that to fund a moon mission. Uh, but if we land at the base, I don't think... I think we've already gotten the science from the base location. That biome, I think we've already done. So it's not going to be super helpful to land there. But yeah, that's, I think, something I want to do. But I, uh, it's going to take a while to build that rocket. Now, we do have some money so that I can hasten that. This other supply module, well, we could... Shove it into the second slot. But this is the standard Lynx mission with the lander on the Buzz rocket. So I'm just going to build one. We have three years to do that moon landing. About well, four years, really. So let's put some upgrade points in. We've got a few. At least we're not saving up for the R&D building anymore. That's fully upgraded. So, is there anything else? This is technically a tracking station upgrade. Uh, mission control is still limiting us to seven contracts, but I'm not rushing on that. I think, will we ever have more than 20 active Kerbals? I hope so eventually, but it's not a pressing issue. So, yeah, we're, we're mostly not saving up for any more of those kinds of upgrades. Well, at some point, somebody had thought that the only reason I didn't have... Uh, the third slot is because I didn't put any build points in it. No, I do think it is tied to the VAB, because even though I have one available, I can't put one in that slot. So, it's, I, I'd like it for it to be under a year to build the Buzz rocket with the moon mission. How about that? So, 16 build points there. I'll leave it at 7.5 for the other one. So... When is the next window for Jupiter or Saturn? I mean, Jupiter we've already sort of done, but we have to do this position of satellite in a specific orbit of Europa anyway. If we do that, maybe we should try to land it? That might be overly optimistic. So that's an opportunity for Jupiter. This one over here for Saturn. But that'll take a much longer travel time. Let's spend a little bit more Delta V to get there faster, maybe? Nah. Travel time, nine years, though. So it's definitely not a source of quick, quick science. And right now we can't get from Jupiter to Saturn. Saturn's behind Jupiter, so that won't work out. And how about Mars again? Ooh. Uh, well, we're right at it. Well, we've passed it. Well, that makes sense. We just launched a supply module. But what if we could adjust maybe this Mars lander and launch it? I mean, maybe we can just launch that Mars lander, land in a different biome, and get more science. Can't really control which biome I'm going to land in very well like this, but... Is that enough Delta V? Maybe.
Well, since we have it, let me try it. I'm going to cancel edits and let me just check the antenna, but I think it should be all right. We could upgrade the solar panels, but I don't have a pressing need for that, I don't think. We'll try it as is. And maybe we'll launch a Mars Orbiter as well. If I could land one of those on Phobos, because I think we landed on Deimos but not Phobos last time, or... Let me see. The probe should still be there. I wonder how much Delta V that Deimos lander has. Do we even need to send a new one? Can that one just get to Phobos? Ah yeah, 194 isn't enough. Okay, well let me see if I can patch up the orbiters that we already have so that they can do the job. Uh, let's abandon the mission. It will be lost. Well, fine. It's on a collision course at 0.4 meters per second. This has a lot of stuff on it. Was the problem Delta V? Or something else? <laughs> he asked ominously. That's plenty of power. Pretty sure uh, changing the engines would take a lot of time to build it. But how about if I just lengthen it a little bit? Mere minutes. <laughs> Insertion Delta V doesn't look too bad this time if this is right, so let's try it. Let's just try it. I'll I'll save edits. Let's do a little bit of work on it. Okay, launching the Mars lander. We do have an ejection longitude of ascending nodes since this curb alarm clock is the branch version of it. We're pretty close to the longitude of ascending node right now. It's supposed to be 347 and it's 350. I could probably Adjust that on the fly. Uh, that throttle's not working. Okay, throttle up. And... Ignition. And launch of our Mars lander. Okay, we're through max Q. Flattening out for the high G-force phase of this. Okay, staging. Okay, we have two little engines here. Bearings. Alright, and the mission is in orbit, 177 by 165. That says 4,182. That's more than was advertised. But 3,860 there. There's just a lander, so we do not have to worry about capturing necessarily. Last time I think we did capture. Alright, I'll take it. Since we don't need to capture, we just need to nudge it closer and let the heat shield do its work. Okay, ignition. Oh shoot, the periapsis is really low. No, up, up, go up instead. Quickly, save yourself. Uh-oh, our Delta V situation might not be good. Passing through the atmosphere is not a good way to preserve Delta V. All right, get back on track as long as it doesn't actually bring my vertical speed down. But this was a very radial sort of thing. I get the feeling that Transfer Window Planner and MechJab don't always agree on things. This is probably shouldn't have been like this. Well, I sure hope we get an encounter with Mars. I think I might plot the next one manually instead of trying to use MechJab for that. Okay, well, let me just see what's going on there, because we're getting pretty close to the target apoapsis. Or past it, even. Okay, we'll do this mid-course correction, even though it costs a lot, and I wasn't intending on doing such a thing.
We will try that out. For our solar panels, the power seems fine for now. So I'll leave this be and launch the orbiter that's going to try to also land on Phobos. Alright, now for the Mars orbiter launch, which will attempt to also land on Phobos. Otherwise, it's probably not going to get us any new science. So, throttle, throttle up, SAS on, and ignition. And launch. This time I'll get into a higher orbit and probably plot the transfer myself instead of let MechJim do it. Probably we'll end up fine for the other one, but this one we need to preserve as much delta V as possible. We are past maximum dynamic pressure at this point. Alright, we are horizontal. Definitely with a higher apoapsis. Probably need to pitch down a little bit, but holding for now. Okay, ignition. And where's my fairings? Fairings. Okay, and shut down. 253 by 199. Last time we were at 160, so this should not lead us to go into the atmosphere. I don't know, I'm not too sure this was the best longitude of ascending node, frankly. Uh, anyway, that thing is gone, but yeah. Okay, um, it's just sort of weird, so I guess I'll take whatever MechJet plots after all. Okay, well, this trajectory doesn't plunge us into the atmosphere, that's for sure. It's not a radial down thing. Don't know why it made me do that last time. We're at the same longitude of ascending node and everything. Hmm. Maybe just the length of the burn? I thought we, would, we were getting through a pretty big chunk of it with this stage. It's the same stage that we used last time as well. Oh well. And ignition. Alright, we have two good ones. Okay, ooh, oh! We actually don't have comms. Alright. That's pretty rare. We are not on escape yet. Oh, we've got comms now. All right, staging. Brief, brief lapse there. Though this is quite a stretch to Amalek. Okay, let's see what that gets us. One year and 71 days, so we'll be able to launch our moon mission before this arrives. We do still have to do the mid-course correction for the lander, though. Yeah, and probably a mid-course correction for this, too. And naturally, we want it in line with the moons, especially Phobos. Okay, that might be a little bit too close, but I'll take that mid-course correction. And this one will be first on those. Let me see if I need to orient for sunlight. This still has the old non-tracking solar panels. Yep. So that's gonna throw everything off too. Okay, we are spinning to face the sun. And we've got the mid-course correction listed. Back to Space Center. Well, we've got some time here. I think I'll put together the Europa specific orbit mission so we're going to need a lot more delta V than the previous Jupiter orbiters and start that under construction and maybe on the Jupiter window I can send that over. Alright, so the revamped Jupiter orbiter will have additional instruments. It has the better solar panels, 
that are thankfully tracking and with basically well from earth they're that powerful from jupiter we're talking about 70 watts let's say each and that's fine for the core and our comms that that requires 20 let's say and the comms require 35 at most so that should be okay and otherwise our delta v is looking pretty good there let's sort this out a bit unfortunately it's not as good as i would like it to be because we don't have fuel lines and we would require 90 science to get fuel lines and we have 69 so that's a shame but you know we need more science and the reason we need fuel lines is because i've got these common core things and they each have se 2200s on them these are methane oxygen engines that get let's say 180 tons of thrust they were supposed to be 200 that's the anyway uh, but uh, yeah because they're the same size they're, they're the same core uh, the goal would be to feed in the outer ones into the inner ones to keep it going right now they all end at the same time unless I throw all down the center which is not great I would rather just have it going and then make sure to fuel uh, feed the fuel in but we don't have the fuel lines so not quite as efficient as I'd like it to be but we'll go with it and that gives us basically 21,000 so will that be enough to get into orbit around Europa that's tough to say but we'll have a few attempts I think so 58 days to build this hopefully we'll get fuel lines before the next attempt I'm leaving off separatrons because the core is going to end at the same time as the boosters anyway so we're just gonna probably dump them all off simultaneously not separate the boosters and I would probably try and formalize that idea probably end up with the fairings going much earlier and then they'll knock off some booster hmm I'll we'll have to think about that. Maybe we'll have to carry those for a little bit longer after all. I think actually the core and the boosters would effectively get us to orbit if the fuel lines were there. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at maybe we get 6,000, a little bit less than 6,000 to use around Jupiter to capture and then get to Europa orbit. So that's a bit tight. Well, Anyway, that's our first attempt to do that sort of thing, so we'll see. Okay, mid-course correction time for the two Mars launches. First, the orbiter. Oh, 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 okay, okay, it's wobbling, it's wobbling. Okay, doing that is not good. Well, we'll figure that out once we get there, I think. It'll cost a bit. Adding the maneuver node for when we get into the SOI, which is 103 meters per second. We are spinning and facing the sun for now. Right, now the lander. All right, this one now, but for a much larger burn, 555 meters per second. Okay, go. Now we don't really need to point to the sun with this one because it's got rotating solar panels. I'll just put a dummy maneuver there, add that alarm, and we'll figure that out once we get there. Still getting plenty of sunlight. Okay, those two missions will arrive there after some of our stuff is complete, so let's get to that stuff. All right, the crewed moon mission still has some time to bake, and so we are going to launch the Jupiter or orbiter mission, well, the Europa orbiter mission, really, and see how that goes. The window is here. Let us launch. And hopefully we'll be launching in daylight, I think. Don't know whether I should trust the longitude of ascending node thing, but ejection longitude of ascending node, 287.77. Longitude of ascending node right now. Trending to that, just a little bit of time warping. As we launch, it tends to go up, so we can launch a little bit ahead of that. So sunrise, and 
and we will try this particular rocket out. And I'll try and throttle down the center engine at some point so that it lasts longer in the hope that that helps something. Um, I'll just do it like this. In that There is also the engine group controller, but I haven't assigned an engine group, so... Okay, here we go, throttle up, SAS is on, ignition. Uh, that's all of them, right? Yeah, that's all of them. And go. This is not an uh, arrangement that's conducive to having one engine out. And on through the clouds. Big ol' stock nose cones. Past the speed of sound. Well, approaching 4 G's there. I think it's safe to throttle this one down. It does work. Of course it doesn't throttle down that far. It throttles down to like 50% max. Or maybe 60%. But at least it'll outlast the boosters a bit. Okay, that's getting way too high. Okay, separation. Ooh, tight. Then we can throw all that back up. And fairings. Okay, just a little bit longer here. And we're getting really high up, unfortunately. Okay, so actually, instead of immediately igniting the engine, we'll coast for once. I'll put the RCS there. Let's separate. RCS forward. We'll think about Vesta next time. It's a possibility. I might as well check whether we can just burn from Apoapsis on out. No, we can't. So we do have to make orbit first. Okay, engage. We have the two little engines. Okay, rather lopsided, 319 by 181. And let's see about Jupiter. Nothing too surprising about the transfer cost. We'll probably make sure we're in line with the moons, like when we enter the SOI, but uh, certainly we don't want to be going around that way. Nice random Callisto encounter though, but yeah, we want to be going around the other way. But for now, this will be a good enough plot, assuming it doesn't plunge us into the atmosphere. Wow, the boil off is serious on this stage. Mostly this stage will handle it. We need about a thousand from the next one. And that's not enough pitch down to cause us problems. So go. Okay, and stage. So about 5,500 left after this trans-Jupiter injection burn. Will that be enough to put this into orbit around Europa? That is a good question. <laughs> and of course the specified orbit. Oh no, we don't have a solar particle collector. We needed a solar particle collector on here as well. We've got the RPWS and the orbital telescope, but not... Ah. Uh, forgot about that. But anyway, it'll be a good way to test it. Okay, well, what does that do for us? Well, again, it's the wrong way around. That's pretty close. I'll probably want to check up on it part way anyway, so I'll make a mid-course correction. Just to flip the orbit around. And that's fairly in line with the moons. So that part doesn't seem like a big problem. Alright, let's have it like that, just under 10,000 kilometers away from Jupiter, going around prograde, or counterclockwise. And 
and that looks good. Just 28.1 on that. And I guess I should check how much it'll take to capture. It doesn't generally take much to capture. We could probably do the whole estimation of the Europa deal right now. Okay, so that's capture, and then up there we would boost up to Europa's orbit. Okay, that'd be a 1,000 correction burn there. And then finally, this again might be too much to ask Kerbal to do. He's wanting to move the nodes away. Okay, yeah, uh, it's it's not happy with this, but it's gonna take a bit. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how much. Uh, Probably a lot. Right now, what we've got plotted is already everything we've got, so... Hopefully not as much as these. But for now, all we have to deal with is the mid-course correction. Don't even have to think about this capture yet. And that correction is very mild. So we've already got that maneuver in. This is going to be recharging fine. And so that's, oh, it's still rolling. So that's three probes, two Mars missions, and one Jupiter mission launched. And we are constructing a new crewed lunar landing. And so that will be what I start off with next time, unless I decide to do this Vesta probe, potential Vesta probe. All right, so with that being the case, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.